sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad or good. So be bad for badness sake. It was the night before Christmas. After putting his four-year-old daughter to bed, Alex came downstairs in the sitting room to watch a movie. Around 11 o'clock, when he was about halfway through the movie, he heard some knocking at his window. His head shot around to face the window, but there wasn't anyone there. It was snowing outside and he had his window shut. Feeling annoyed, he went ahead and shut his blinds to let the pranksters know that he wasn't interested. Enough time passed and he was able to forget about the knocking and get back into his movie until another steady set of knocks came at the window. He felt so uneasy then. He thought... Why were they doing this? It was too late for the kids to be playing pranks knocking at other people's windows. But by the slim chance that they actually needed something, he lifted his blinds and pulled open his window just a crack. Hey! Let me in! Let me in! No! Go away! Leave the window! That was the biggest and most foolish mistake he had ever made. Let me in. I'm cold. Let me sit by the warm fire. You know it's so cold out here. I'm just... Uh, I have nothing. Please. Please let me in. Look at that beautiful warm, cozy fire. Let me rest on your sofa for one night. It's Christmas. I'm begging you, mister. Please. I'm begging you. Look, man, I'm not gonna let you in. Go away, or I'm gonna call the cops. As soon as he said that, he heard the man run away. After a few minutes, Alex checked to make sure if the man was gone. He felt relieved to find that the man wasn't there anymore. So he got back to his movie, which was nearly over. About 15 minutes later, he heard footsteps. It was his daughter. Daddy. What are you doing out of bed, sweetheart? Daddy, it's Santa. He's at my window. He wants me to let him in so he can show me my presents. Will I let him in? As soon as he heard this, he ran upstairs to his daughter's room, but the man was obviously gone from the window by that time. Alex never had a more horrifying experience. That night, Alex slept with his daughter in her room. He was so thankful that his daughter didn't open the window. God knows what that man would have done if she had let him in. Hi guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas horror story. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Merry Christmas everyone. See you next time with another creepy story. Until then, bye.